sunglasses are leaving that ring light reflection so i guess we're we're gonna go without them yes how am i supposed to start this video kai it's been so long does anyone remember that song Jumbo Jumbo. I've been trying to work on this Jumbo Jumbo. Welcome back to my channel. It's Champagne. Um with another video. It's been a while. I know. <laughs> I've not been on here. Um been busy in flying school and everything. Yes, and before I start this video, I just want to give a really big shout out to your Tot tribe. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Just Oops. Look at this. Oh, oh, let me show you. Mm. Yes. In theme with today's video, this is the most adorable thing ever. I love it. Uh, this is from your Tote Tribe. I'm just going to link the details down below. Yes, it is a, it's a tote. It's a bag. It's like my, my flying bag. Alrighty, so let us start with the first question. Where do you fly? As of right now, I am a piloting student at the Kenya School of Flying. It has its bases in Nairobi, in Malindi, and in Kajiado, which is where I'm currently at. In case you've been wondering why I've not been able to shoot Nikobundus. When did I... Uh, yeah, so I am in Kenya School of Flying. When did I start flying? Hmm. Okay, I started flying in Form 2. Kenya School of Flying had a holiday program. I joined the holiday program and I started flying in Form 2. Then I stopped, I went to campus, I got my degree, uh, but I still kind of wanted to still fly. So I did go back to Kenya School of Flying last year. And yeah, so I can say it's been like one year and the other, the other time was like 2011, I guess. So it's been been a few years on and off <laughs> okay I, i'm just going to leave it at like one year and a few months that i was there in 2011 why kenya school of flying sorry i've written down your questions so that yeah because mathematics why kenya school of flying kenya school of flying because i had already started so it seemed easier for me to continue at the institution that I had already started. They had my details. I had already taken some classes. I already had some information. I had the books. So it just made more logical sense to keep going back to Kenya school. Okay. So yeah, that was my reason. How many hours of flying do you have? As of right now, I have seven. I have seven hours. Um, I'm so thrilled. I'm on the road to my solo. I don't even know what to say. I am genuinely excited. Like, I cannot wait for my solo. Okay, I have another question here. Are there flying schools in Kenya? Yes, there are. There are, there are a couple of schools in Kenya. It takes me to the next question. Which are some of the flying schools in Kenya? I have a list here. There's Kenya School of Flying. There is 99's um, School of Flying. There's flight training center, there's, what else? Proactive Nairobi flight training, there's Mount Kenya School of Flying, there's East Africa School of Aviation, there's West Rift, there's Flight Star. I'm just gonna like, if you're seeing the logos popping up and you're like, what the? I'm gonna link the bios for the school down below so that you can go and check them out for yourself. What is for flying? So some of the licenses, you start with a student pilot license, then you go on and you get your private pilot license, then you get your commercial pilot license, then you get your airline transport pilot license, your ATPL. That lets you fly with the big boys at Qatar and everything. Um, then you also can get your instructor rating. You get a multi-rating, you get an instrument rating. So there are steps. You don't just, 
you don't just get to start flying the big jets there are steps you start with the tiny planes and you go to the more advanced then you go you know the i start flying um you can start by doing your research <laughs> it's very important i keep telling people to research look at what you want to do look at what you want to fly look at the schools i've given you a list of schools look at how much it costs look at the time look at like just do a lot of research once you've decided go through the schools look at them go to school by school if you must pick the school that suits you you know because i i'm not gonna come here and say one size fits all everybody has different needs everybody has different things they require so pick a school that fits your needs in particular and just go ahead start flying definitely but i promise it'll always be worth it okay is height an issue <laughs> yes you cannot be too short neither can you be too tall there's a there's a specified height gonna put it down here um so if you're in between that height you should be okay but yes height does play a role not a major one but does play a role in you becoming a pilot what aircraft do you currently fly i am currently flying the best five yankee alpha sierra lima charlie 150 it's a cessna 150 two seater just for me and my instructor who i <laughs> i managed to <laughs> I just i just managed to have the most fun with him it's a charlie 150 two people um that's what i'm starting with that's what most people start with although there are some people flying the 172 but i am flying a charlie 150 okay what is the most challenging part of aviation for me it personally has to be ground school like i just i should have taken geography and physics more seriously I'm so sorry to my geography and physics teachers. I <laughs> I found I find ground school to still be a bit challenging and for sure corona coming up and stagnating the industry has been such a horrible thing. Um airlines retrenching, airlines closing, it's really really tough. So right now it's just this weird space between oh my gosh, did I make the right choice deciding to be a pilot and Oh, Amelia Earhart, yeah, I do. I um, yeah. I'm so happy that she actually went on and flew. Otherwise, the rest of us would not have even had the chance. Is it possible for one to get into the flying school in their late twenties? Imagine you can start as late as thirty. The age limits come after sixty, but you are allowed to start any time like from from 16 to 60 so if you're 26 27 28 even if you're 30 and you're like wow i really want to fly it's not too late like if you're in your 30s and you want to fly it's not too late you can still pick it up there is no limit to your passion i've answered which aircraft i fly um owning an airline <laughs> whoa corona uh corona that's all i have to say about that corona can i work as a pilot oh my gosh let's see you can be a commercial pilot you can be a military pilot you can be a cargo pilot you can be a rescue pilot you can be a wildlife pilot there are so many options you can be um those guys who spray crops crop spray you can do so many things it's not that you're just limited to working in an airline you can work at amref you can work at un you can work at kws and all these conservation organizations that's what i'm trying to do with my life uh you can choose to be a cargo pilot you can work for dhl and all these huge companies that just do cargo there are so many options you just need to open up your mind and explore the possibilities because there are so many um opportunities in aviation the not limited to being a commercial pilot or, or working in an airline there's just options okay and um who are my role models wow wow wow, wow. This list is so long. <laughs> I've actually like had to summarize. The list is really long. 
um, I'll start really close to home. I'll start with the first female um, pilot I ever met was Captain Rashma Shah, who's now a KCI examiner. At the time, she was at Kenya School of Flying. Um, she was energy, you know? She was tough and strong, and I was just like, what? Yo. And she scared me, and she freaked me out. Oh my gosh. I was actually scared, but I was still so impressed. Um, when we come closer to home again, definitely all my female instructors in school, Sheila, Saluni, Lucy, all the women who've been able to teach me close up have definitely impacted me. And in the aviation industry in Kenya, definitely, definitely, definitely. Like, Apoju is Captain Irene Koki Mutungi, Luisa Mbuga, Paula Kahoho. I saw Paula in, um, in a video, actually. And she was, I think she was lunging something. And I was like, oh my God. And her story was so inspiring. Anita Terry and Amanda Kandawire. I'm trying really hard not to debauch her name. But these are just some of the African women who inspire me. I like fly with Pilot Maria. I, I, I don't know. There's so many amazing women who are flying and they just continue to be inspirational, to challenge me, to make me want to do so much better. Um, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely, yeah, I would definitely say those are the people who I look up to. My mom, <laughs> though she's not a pilot, but she's definitely like my number one fan, always cheering me on. Um, yeah, so these are some of the things guys asked. I hope, I hope this has helped. Um, I don't know if there's anything I've not answered. I just literally picked off the things people were asking. If there are more questions, any more queries, just <laughs> drop a comment. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing. We will see you in the air. I guess I'll do more, more aviation videos. I've kind of been like, I don't know if I should do it or not. So I'll definitely start, definitely give you guys a tour of my school, definitely get you guys to meet my really funky instructor and my really cool schoolmates. Um, yeah, but other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful morning, night, evening. I don't know what time you're watching. It is night here, so I'm going to say goodnight. Asante sana and have a beautiful night.